Hello. I'm here with Peter McDonald, who is the head of strategic partnerships and business development at Snowflake. Peter, thanks so much for joining us. Pleasure to be here, Kit. So Peter, we've been talking a lot about multi-cloud and a lot about uh, cross-cloud and what that sort of architecture looks like. And I definitely want to dive into that and talk about both what we're doing here at VMware about that, but obviously what you guys at Snowflake are doing. But to start that, I really want to start off uh, from a customer standpoint, you know, what are you hearing from your customers around multi-cloud? How do they get there and what are they seeing with the challenges? Yeah, thanks, Kit. You know, we, we see customers adopting multi-cloud for a variety of different reasons. In some cases, it's actually their explicit strategy to have multiple different cloud providers. In other cases, they may adopt uh, different clouds for different workloads. Maybe one cloud they think is a better capability for streaming analytics. Another cloud might have better capabilities for traditional, say, analysis of financial data. Um, you know, so the different workloads can drive adoption of different clouds. We also see different departments or divisions within an enterprise or organization uh, adopting different clouds for their own preferences. Uh, and sometimes companies acquire other companies and that other company, the, the, um, uh, the acquired company has a different cloud platform as well. Uh, on top of that, you'll sometimes find latency issues, or data sovereignty issues, driving the adoption of different clouds too. So there are a variety of reasons that lead to this outcome, but we are seeing more and more companies, both enterprises and increasingly mid-sized companies adopting uh, a multi-cloud strategy. Yeah, that's interesting because you know we see the same pattern with, with our customers as well. And it's funny because some of them definitely do have this very intent mindset, like I'm gonna go multi-cloud, I'm gonna do it very intentionally, they've got a whole strategy there. But to your point, uh, more customers, I would say, just sort of end up there, right? They don't necessarily intend to do it, but it's through an acquisition or one of the lines of business going out and, um, and, and starting to use those things. And now, hey, guess what? Surprise, uh, they're multi-cloud. So then, you know, once they're in that position though, what do you see as the challenges to really uh, managing, operating, running in a multi-cloud environment? You know, in, in our space, which is data analytics and machine learning data science, uh, you yeah, know, the biggest issue is, is data silos. And, and even within on, on one cloud or within one enterprise, that has been one of the challenges that we've been helping companies address for many years now. But once you move data to different clouds, those clouds, in effect, can become data silos in and of themselves. And companies or organizations need to gather insights from all the data they can have available to them. Uh, and if all of a sudden certain data is not available to them uh, elsewhere in the organization, that is a real hindrance. So that the, the insights... Uh, that are precluded from data silos is a big issue. And, and on top of that, you come into data governance issues. Um, what you want to be able to do is access all the data, wherever it is in the organization or elsewhere, um, but making sure you have appropriate data governance in place. And that can be another challenge as well once you move into this multi-cloud world. Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. We see the same sort of siloing happening. I mean, it's funny, you guys are obviously looking at it very much from a data centric perspective. We're looking at it more from a compute centric and maybe management perspective, but it's very similar. And, um, you know, we see a lot of customers challenging or having challenges around, you know, duplication and, and how do you drive consistency across there? How do you do things like security, right? And, and to your point, governance is a really big uh, focus there. So tell me then, how are, how are you at Snowflake thinking about solving these challenges and not just thinking about, but actually solving these challenges for customers? Yeah, you know, a, a big part of the solution for multi-cloud comes back into cross-cloud. And, and cross-cloud is very near and dear to our hearts here at Snowflake and, and frankly, one of our core differentiators. You know, cross-cloud for, for, for us means that data moves easily uh, between multiple public clouds without any additional work from the customer. Um, there's no worrying about you know, where your data is and where the applications live and where your business technical people are located. Um, it's that seamless access and experience uh, for the customers and for the users, irrespective of the major public clouds and what data is on what cloud. Um, when you get into individual kind of benefits and features, one of the things that's core to, to us in, in, in cross-cloud is data sharing. Um, and modern data sharing enables live access between data and consumers. The data doesn't need to move. It's always up to date. It's live and it's always available. Um, and it's available across business units, across the business ecosystem. So being able to access across organizational boundaries, including with your customers, your suppliers, and also being able to get live access to data 
in a governed way from data providers in a, in a data marketplace. That's, that's one core feature for cross-cloud for us. Uh, another core capability is, is true failover and, fall, and, and, and failback. Um, you know, um, the public clouds are very reliable, but sometimes they do go down. Uh, and when that happens, you want to be able to use uh, another or secondary cloud, not just for data backup, but for true failover for your applications and then fail back at the right time. So that's very important too. Um, and then we come back to data governance, like we talked about before. When you're looking at being able to access this data, um, when you do switch from one cloud to another or get access to data in another cloud, that data governance needs to span multiple clouds. And that's very important. With Snowflake, we enable that with our, we, sometimes we call it our brain, but it's our snow house capability, which is part of our architecture that sits on top of not only multiple different regions within a cloud, but goes cross cloud as well and provides these capabilities. Awesome. Yeah. So it's interesting because, you know, rallying around that data layer, that sort of cross cloud data architecture. And I think that complements really well how we've been thinking about it, and, you know, through like out what we've been talking about is this, this notion of cross cloud at a few different layers. We see it at an infrastructure layer. So sort of the DevSecOps, you know, sort of how you develop and build applications. We think about it from an app architecture perspective, but that notion of the data cross-cloud layer, super complementary and, and super critical <laughs> to all modern enterprise, right? But then having some of the commonalities around security, governance, et cetera. Yeah. So, okay, so now we have you know, the, the solution there, that sort of architecture. So what then is the value for customers of adopting an approach like this? Yeah, that's great. And, and Ken, I, I just echo your point, the, the cross-cloud capabilities, have to truly be enabled at the platform level. Um, mm -hmm. and, and that whether it's Snowflake or further up the snap or, uh, stack or VMware, it's, it's, it's all right there. For us, the customer benefits come back into, in, in part, you know, breaking down those data silos like we talked before. So it's unlocking you know, untold insights and in, in the new business opportunities that come from those insights that weren't available or even imaginable just a few years ago. Um, you know, right now, data silos can also be created by individual SaaS applications that may be you know, in different clouds uh, or for other reasons. And, and now we're able to eliminate those, those data silos and bring together a single source of data uh, with this modern data sharing that goes cross cloud. Um, the benefits on the technical side, getting away from some of the business benefits, uh, you know, is the consistent data services being available across the organization perspective of the cloud. Uh, and we're finding that our CIOs and, and chief data officers value that as well too. There is this capability to go cross cloud and have that consistent data services layer provided by our platform that enables them to do the things that their customers are asking for them. Yeah, that's absolutely right. And you know, we see such similar benefits to customers uh, for VMware cross cloud services as well. It's this notion of really how do you drive that business priority uh, with the sort of technology op uh, optionality right? That, you, you know, you may need an application and its data, of course, in a certain public cloud or in a different one or on-prem or at the edge or across all of these things. And I think historically, technology has really gotten in the way of enabling a, uh, the, the technology department to deliver that functionality to the business. And so I see, you know, one of the big benefits here is actually enabling that alignment and that acceleration. I completely agree. Well, Peter, thanks so much for joining me in the conversation. It's really amazing to see the uh, type of alignment in our thinking around cross-cloud and how it's driving a, a big change in the industry. Thank you so much. Well, thank you, Kit, and thank you for inviting Snowflake to participate.